Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at my newest and favorite semi-auto handgun right here called the Beretta 92X Performance. Check that out. A beautifully looking and shooting handgun. I took it to the range already and I fell in love with it. I said this is a handgun that I've been looking for. Very smooth, very accurate. It was so natural for me and I, I was so pleased. I, I love it. I, I'm calling this my favorite handgun. Now, a while back, my friend allowed me to review his Beretta M9A3. And I said to myself, I wanted one of these for years. I really liked the color combination, the features, and the way it shot at the range. I said, one day, I will get that M9A3 guaranteed. I just knew I had to have it. But then I took a deeper look at the 92X series that were introduced in 2019 so about two and a half years ago and I checked out this performance model and I said well there, there it is that's the one and I finally got my hands on it now when you grip this gun the first thing you noticed is the weight it has a lot of heft to it and that is because it has a stainless steel frame opposed to the aluminum frame on the M9 models all right so it, it adds weight it's geared toward competition and it would be a great com competition choice because, you know, it's, it's an amazing shooter. Let's get into it. Check out that texturing on the back strap. They call this a vertex style grip, a little more vertical, a little thinner. They offer a rubber grip in case you want a, a wider grip to fill, fill your hand. But I'll show that when I, when I introduce the case because that in and of itself is very cool. 15 round magazines that will accept the larger mags that many of the Breda M9s have, a rubber base plate, a tapered mag, a beveled mag well, all right, for those quick mag changes, and that front strap is just beautiful. The magazine release sticks out quite a bit. Nice reach with the thumb. You don't have to change your angle of your grip. It does have an extended beaver tail, skeletonized hammer, and an ambidextrous frame-mounted thumb safety. All right, it is left-handed friendly and, and when engaged it will lock the trigger and the slide so nothing's happening there you could carry it cocked and locked for those who would actually carry this gun just wait till we get it on the scale you'll see what i'm talking about here we have an unloaded firearm and now the sights have a black serrated rear sight adjustable both windage and elevation and a fiber optic front sight but the, the trigger is what Brett is calling an extreme S trigger. They lightened the hammer spring, all right? So the single action trigger pull, you're looking at four pounds and a very short reset right there. But what I find equally impressive is the double action pull. Now your average double action, single action handgun has a pull right around 10, 12 pounds. 10 would actually be light. I am measuring this double action pull at seven pounds, which is amongst the smoothest. Well, actually, this is the smoothest double action trigger I have ever felt in a double action, single action handgun. Seven pounds, that is much lighter. So that is the extreme S trigger that they added with the 92X models. And it's included with this performance. See those very thin, Front serrations and rear serrations. Brett is calling this sawtooth serrations. That cut there is like sawtooth. A full pick rail there, 4.9 inch barrel. We'll take a look at it. I like the way the black trigger, thumb safety, the, the grip, the sights, the barrel accent with the uh, stainless steel look to it. The takedown lever is a match grade. You can see how far it comes out there. They're calling that a match grade takedown lever. It's also an enhanced feature with this. You could rest your weak side thumb when shooting. I don't recall doing that when I was at the range, but possibly I did. I'm not sure. But let's take a look at this case. They give you a lockable case that allows you to travel with the pistol. And the MSRP on this, all right, this isn't, uh, you know, something that you're going to buy on a whim. Maybe, if you fell in love with it the way I did, $14.99. $1,500 will get you 
the 92X. Now here's the rubber grip I talked about. It does come with two magazines, speed loader, a huge user manual, a huge one, and this lockable case. The M9A3 came in a like an ammo can case, and I, I thought that was cool. But when you know that that one came with that big lockable case, I said that is very nice. Love the trigger, love the look, love the heft of it. Let's take a look at the internals. Just pushing that button there, take this takedown lever, move it downward, comes right off just like that. All right, and here you have a uncaptured recoil spring steel guide rod and your 4.9 inch barrel let's see if we can get that out there it is 4.9 inch barrel and a very well machined slide brigadier slide and then you make sure that is fully inserted there is it it is and you move this spring back i i you know, I'm, it, it takes a lot for me to say this is my favorite shooting handgun. You know, I, I review a lot of handguns, but I honestly could say that with confidence after I took this to the range. Let's, let's just go ahead and roll through some of that footage. We'll come back in, get it on the scale. Twenty five yards. I told you this was heavy. I certainly was not joking. Check out the unloaded weight. Three pounds and a half ounces. Just ounces, 48 and 3 eighths. If we add 15 rounds in the mag there, we're looking at 54 and 3 quarters. There we have 55 and a quarter ounces. So this is no doubt a heavy handgun. And that's what you'd expect with an all steel frame. It certainly decreases the recoil. The little bit of recoil that 9mm will offer. But it's a beautiful looking and shooting handgun. I am overly excited. You know, for, for a guy who has more than a couple handguns, I am overly excited over this 92X performance. I plan to do a lot with it. And I'm, I'm certainly going to show it off some more because it is worthy of that. And I hope you like it because you may see this again fairly shortly. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.